If you want to know about Hornady's PRC lineup of cartridges, you're in the right place. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I've been working on some projects that are going to show you PRC in depth since the SHOT Show this year. That's right, I've been lining up sponsors, I've been gathering all of the required information, I've been doing a whole bunch of research. I didn't want to mention it, I didn't want to hint towards it until I was ready to roll, and now I'm ready to roll. So I want to tell you what's in store. I'm going to be doing three rifle builds, two 300 PRC rifle builds and one 65 PRC rifle build. Starting with 300 PRC, I'm going to build a budget rifle and I'm going to build a custom rifle. I wanted to do both because part of the promise of 300 PRC is that regardless of whether you're buying a more economy oriented rifle or a custom rifle, because of the specifics of the cartridge, because of the chamber geometry, it's going to perform well in either case, kind of like 6.5 Creedmoor. And then on the 6.5 PRC side, I thought, what would I really want to use 6.5 PRC for? I've hunted big game with 6.5 Creedmoor and it, it came to me. I'd like a lighter hunting rifle and I'd want, I'd want one with a little bit more knockdown power. So my project for 6.5 PRC is going to be a lightweight hunting backpacker and it's going to have great long range performance as well. So it's going to have a carbon stock, it's going to have a carbon wrap barrel and it's going to be set up to be this really great hunting rifle that I'm really looking forward to hunting with here in the mountains where we get we cover a lot of altitude. The hills here are really steep. I need a, a rifle that's going to perform well. It's going to have the knockdown power that I want. It's going to be capable of those 600 to 800 yard shots, but it's not going to, you know, break my arm off where I have the strap going over the side there. So that is the scope of the projects. I might be doing some additional work as well. Uh, let me walk you through some of the sponsorships and some of the components that I'm going to be working with here for these projects. On the 300 PRC side, the basis for the budget rifle build is going to be this Remington 700 long range. This is a great focus on the fundamentals budget rifle. It's got a Bell and Carlson stock. It's got the familiar Remington 700 action, which I'm already tooled up, you know, to deal with in terms of action wrenches and all, all the aftermarket parts that you can get for the Remington 700. I thought this would be kind of an ideal starting point for that. It's chambered in the 300 Remington Ultra Mag. I wanted to pick a rifle that would be representative of something that you might have on hand that you might want to take to your gunsmith and have upgraded to 300 PRC. There's some considerations around action length, around magazine length, around feeding. We're going to cover all of that with this budget rifle build. And I'm going to be doing shooting and reloading content on 300 Remington Ultra Magnum as well so that we can compare the two. For the custom build, I'm going to be building a the full custom in MDT chassis. I've got a Kelby's custom action here. This is their Atlas Tactical. And I've got barrel blanks from Benchmark and brakes from Benchmark that I'm going to be using for, for both 300 PRC builds. This is going to be absolutely awesome. The 6.5 PRC is going to be on a Pierce Engineering Titanium Remington 700 clone action. There's going to be a Benchmark carbon fiber stock. Again, the Benchmark barrel blank, but this time with a carbon wrap. Still waiting on that. We've got that one in progress. And it's going to be just a really great lightweight, should be a tack driver, you know, hunting platform. So I'm really excited about that. I wanted to walk through my list of partners here real quick. Um, Hornady, I, I approached them with the project and said, hey, I want to create these resources. They're going to kind of answer every question around what it takes to build a rifle, what kind of performance you're going to see in real world conditions. And so I'm working with Hornady on that. Kelby's custom actions for the custom 300 PRC build. Pierce Engineering for the titanium action for the 6.5 PRC build. Benchmark barrels for all of the uh, barrel blanks here. Dave Manson reamers supplied both reamers and uh, go no go gauges for both 300 PRC and for 6.5 PRC. Uh, we worked through some of the specifics on that and I've had really good luck with Dave Manson reamers. I did my 22250 Winchester Model 70 build. Chamber looked <laughs> amazing for that. Uh, also MDT. Uh, 
both for you know the actual chassis system itself and then some of the accessories. I can't wait to build that out. This is going to be a really, really heavy rifle, which is what I want. I want something that I can enjoy shooting 300 PRC with, and I can feel confident with at long range. And MDT makes some absolutely killer products. Red Snake Tactical. Red Snake makes a custom bottom metal for the Remington 700 platform. I'm going to use this on the 65 PRC build. I'm working with Accurate Mag uh, on magazine configurations, uh, both for this Remington 700, and they're going to supply a bottom metal for that as well, and for the 65 PRC. Trigger Tech has supplied triggers for the 65 PRC and for the 300 PRC full custom. I've got another trigger in mind for uh, this Remington 700 long range for the for the budget build and I've also got some Magnum powders from Ramshot. I haven't really worked with Ramshot powders here on the channel yet and I thought that would be a great opportunity to look at a different product lineup and you know to to experiment with some different powders. Always a lot of fun and then of course Remington um, I've worked with them and their technical team on hey what would be the best rifle platform and the best rifle model to base a 300 PRC build off of. And we agreed that this Remington 700 long range, you know, in 300 rum had both the right dimensional characteristics and it was kind of at the right, right price point with the right features. I've already threaded the muzzle here and installed a low cost brake on it. Really trying to stick with a moderate budget. I, I don't know if I want to call it low budget. Let's call it a moderate budget. So, uh, this is going to be crazy. I'm going to go into the specifics of the chambering and the machining to put the rifles together and to do the rebarrel on this Remington 700 long range. Really one of the, the big goals is these are some unique cartridges and they push the boundaries of the short action in the case of the 6.5 PRC and the long action in terms of the 300 PRC. What do you need to know about action length, about magazine, about feeding, any kind of inletting? I'm going to get into all of those details and what I hope to create is a template and a gear list so that if you want to build one of these rifles, you can easily do so with the confidence that it's been vetted by me. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, just take a moment, uh, think about what you'd want to see, drop a comment and make sure that you're subscribed with notifications because this is going to be the most insane set of projects that I've done to date. It's gonna be great, but it's really gonna be challenging and I'm really looking forward to stretching things. Stretching my shooting out to a mile with 300 PRC. That is gonna be fun and I'm gonna involve some of the people that you've seen me interact with on the channel and some of my friends and colleagues to help me explore some of these new areas. So that's it, if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up, make sure that you stick around for the rest of the story. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.